Hi, this is John, and we're going to take a drive down the road of binary fractions. Okay, that was dumb. <laughs> Alright, so before we dive into binary fractions, uh, there's a couple things I want to explain. Well, the first is, there's no decimal point. We call it a radix. And in a binary number, that's this little guy right here. This little red square um, represents what well, we think of a decimal point, but it's called a radix. So you'll hear me refer to the radix pretty often in this tutorial. In my previous tutorial where we converted whole number binary, uh, we uh, started from the right and worked left. We multiplied by 2 as we went. In this tutorial, we're going to start from the radix and work right, uh, dividing by 2 the entire time. And that's going to be our focus. In fractions, there is dyadic versus non-dyadic, right? There's two types, where a dyadic fraction has a denominator with a power of 2, and they eventually end when you convert to binary. A non-dyadic fraction converts to infinite. That's a big number. They never end when converted to binary, so we round them or truncate the, those answers. Now, there's two uh, schools of thought when we're converting to binary, or converting uh, fractional binary numbers. Um, and I have my little cheat sheet to the left for us to use. Um, in this example, it's more straightforward. It's when we have a dyadic fraction. So we're going to convert the number 20.625. Um, if you look at the little cheat sheet, over here we have 0.5 plus 0.125. Well, that equals 0.625. So I'll draw a little conversion chart out here and we'll convert this. So 20, whole number, well, let's put our radix in there. So 20 is a whole number, so 16 plus 4 is 20. Easy. Fill the rest in with zeros. And you remember this if you've seen my previous tutorial. 625, like I already said, is 1 half plus 1 eighth. Boom. 1 half, 1 eighth, check. So that should be our answer. And I'm correct, imagine that. <laughs> All right, so that's our straightforward example. And you know, um, if you know your uh, fractions to decimal uh, replacements, you can do those fairly quickly. Now, the, the next example is a non-dyadic number, and it's a little more serious than the first one. So in a non-dyadic number, what we want to do is take that 0.11 and multiply it times 2, and we get 0 0.022. Now just bear with me. We're just going to keep doing this. We're going to take 0 0.22, multiply that by 2. And we're going to take that answer, 0 0.44, multiply that by 2. And we're just going to do that 8 times. Okay? Now the next step, let's move this table over. The next step, we're going to, well that's 91, whole number. We're going to take all these values right here, right? The zeros and ones. And believe it or not, that is our binary fractional number. As per my fancy binary calculator I found on Google, this is the answer. And you can see, if you look closely, it repeats itself. So we have to truncate this answer. So if you learned something, give it a like, subscribe, or leave a comment, and tell me how I did. Thanks for watching.